Hey, future doctors, Dr. Daniel Wynn here. So you're neck deep in step one prep, feeling overwhelmed by the sheer volume of information and the complexity of those USMLE step one questions, right? Don't worry, we've all been there. Today, we're going beyond the basics and diving into advanced question analysis, which is a crucial skill to crack not only step one, but also excel in your future clinical practice. Today, we will be diving into a complex USMLE gastrointestinal problem from MD Boost's step one bank. Read the question, which of the following is the most likely associated with these findings? So it's an association question. Um, you know, skimming through the answer choices, achalasia, celiac disease, GERD, peptic ulcer disease, pernicious anemia. So we're dealing with a GI thing here. Okay. So then you're going to read the case. A 45-year-old woman presents with a six-month history of progressive dysphagia, particularly with uh, solid foods. She also reports a sensation of food getting stuck in her throat. So you have a middle-aged female. It's a chronic issue. She has dysphagia, right? Uh, issues with solid foods, not liquids. Okay. And then obviously a uh, sensation of food getting stuck in her throat, which another uh, medical term is globus sensation. Okay. She has a history of anemia and has been experienced fatigue and pallor. So anemia, fatigue, pallor. So you're thinking maybe either one, a bleeding disorder or two, maybe she has iron deficiency anemia, right? Physical uh, on physical examination. She is found to have a smooth beefy red tongue and a spoon shaped nails. So thinking about that, that fits a little bit more with really, really bad iron deficiency, right? Um, upper endoscopy reveals esophageal web. So this is something a little bit more specific, right? So looking at a scope and then you see, um, webbing in the esophagus. So now you're leaning towards, oh, okay. So iron deficient anemia with all these symptoms and you're thinking most likely the diagnosis is plumber Vincent syndrome. Okay. So then you go, which of the following conditions is most likely associated with these findings? So this is definitely a second order question, um, because first you have to figure out the diagnosis, which is plumber Vincent, right. With all the symptoms, right. Anemia, fatigue, pallor, uh, smooth, beefy red tongue and spoon shaped nails that can happen because of an iron deficient anemia along with esophageal webs. Then after that, you have to figure out what's associated with plumber Vincent syndrome, right? So you have achalasia. Achalasia is more like, you know, um, the tapering uh, of the esophagus bird beak like, right? Usually that you see on a, either, either a barium swallow. Um, but definitely for sure you would see that in an upper endoscopy if it's very, very tight at the lower esophageal sphincter. Um, but yeah, not really associated too much with plumber Vincent celiac disease, right? So you have gluten intolerance. Um, so this is going to be chronic diarrhea, things like that. Not really associated with plumber Vincent, right? Um, GERD, Reflux, reflux can be associated with a lot of things, but um, meaning that, you know, you have stomach acid going into your uh, esophagus causing, you know, um, symptoms of heartburn, right? Um, uh, clearing of the throat a lot, right? And it can eventually lead to Barrett's esophagus, which can eventually lead to uh, adenocarcinoma, the lower esophagus, but not really associated with plumber Vincent syndrome. Then you have peptic ulcer disease right, which is kind of a little bit more associated with H. pylori, things like that, um, have a lot of pain with either um, with either eating foods or, um, or fasting states, depending on if it's in the duodenum or the stomach. So last but not least, you have pernicious anemia, which, you know, a plumber Vincent syndrome is actually associated with a bunch of autoimmune disorders. So you can kind of think of pernicious anemia is, you know, you have kind of the factor deficiency of um, intrinsic factor, which causes you have issues with uh, absorption of B12, vitamin B12. Mm -hmm. And that's a autoimmune disorder where your immune system is attacking kind of your, um, your, um, cells in your stomach, right? Uh, that create intrinsic factor, which helps the absorption of B12. So your best answer here for plumber Vincent syndrome is going, or association of plumber Vincent syndrome is going to be pernicious anemia. So high yield takeaways in less than 30 seconds. One, clinically imagine the patient really got to have the image in your mind Two, come up with a differential diagnosis. So have a list thinking about it. Three, Commit to the most likely diagnosis. Got to pick one diagnosis here. Four, convert the question asked into your own words so you understand it better. Five, pick the best answer choice, the best one. In less than 30 seconds, high yield takeaways.